What's up, y'all? It's your boy A-Rock here, and I'm here in Newington to give an interview with the cast of the Kineticon Agents of Catapult. So, let's get started. Okay, so I searched high and low all over the Kineticon HQ to find the castmate, but it turns out I managed to get an interview with one of the main characters, Vice President of Kineticon, Ryan Pagella. When did you come up with the idea of Agents of Catapult? Well, Catapult, okay, so Catapult was actually uh, a, the pilot was part of the Battleship trailer for 2013, which was the cosplay event at Kineticon. We had gotten rid of chess and we were trying to tell people to go to Battleship. We had written this commercial that we couldn't film, and then last second we were like, let's just make it about spies. And so we did this whole like Catapult thing, and we thought that was going to be it, but since people really liked it, and it was written by a Jess Jess person, we're like, let's see if we can make a web series and like make it happen and make like a whole thing about it to get information out to people in a new and interesting kind of way about the convention. Um, and it's it's taken off. It's been fun, and we have a lot of fun doing it. So like at this point, if people like it and like we have fun doing with it, that's a win-win. Tell me about your character, <laughs> Agenta. Okay, so when we were developing Agent A, like we were we kept on coming up with this joke that. He would get really angry that people kept on mispronouncing his name as Agent A, and uh, it's it was really funny because we were playing a game um, in which we had entered all our agents' names, and mine just kept on coming up as as Agenta, and like there was a space there, and uh, it was it, it was hilarious, and so we just kind of worked it in there, and like since I kept on getting angry at the game, we decided that. Agenta would also get be like just a really angry individual also. Um, the sassiness didn't come later. We decided that he'd be like this sassy, like proactive, like gay guy way later, but like it's been a lot of fun. So he's just like a super angry dude. Do the agents actually make fun of him just because of his name? I mean, they make fun of him because he's a clone, so he's a little like short-handed in certain ways, like, you know, like he is a clone of the Vice President of Kineticon, and he, like, is not the person that's, a, he's not the original person, obviously. And, like, he also, he just, like, he, he doesn't have full potential, because he's got all, like, his own abnormalities and deformities because he's a clone. He's not, he's, like, genetically not correct. So, like, he gets angrier, he doesn't understand things quite as easily, and he's just, like, it, it's just how he is, so. Huh. Have you ever thought of any bringing anybody else into there besides the staff? Um, yeah, we're actually coming up in our next episode. We're probably going to be posting a sheet that's going to allow extras because we have this really awesome scene that we need a lot of extras for. And that as things continue, if we get more people that want to be involved, we want them to get involved with the catapult. Absolutely. Uh, and, you know, we'll start doing auditions. If this really works out, there will be a season two, and then absolutely we'll, we'll need more people. And if people don't like, if we don't have enough room in Catapult, I have my own production company, which is Atomic Blue Productions, and we will always be looking for people to join in on that and join our, our crew, like, in general, because we just need actors all the time. So, you know, like, if Catapult doesn't work, there's going to be something else. There's always something in the works. While I was there, I find out that Kineticon HQ holds seasonal mats. It's got cards, long hours of board games people can play, and a buttload of video games. But while talking with Ryan, I got to know more about what's to come for the con in this summer. So do you have any other plans for Kineticon coming up? No, I mean, yeah, we always have big new things coming up. I, I mean, I can't say anything big yet uh, other than what's been announced, but you know, the kind of crawl will be coming back, nerd problem will be back, everything that we started that was new is coming back next year. Um, you know, we have some great new events lined up, some great new cosplay events, and we know we hopefully will have some news on our new auction that we're working on. So, you know, and as the con gets closer, we always still have more stuff that comes up, and especially more guests that we'll announce. So, yeah, just keep your eye on the website because we'll always have lots of stuff to tell you. Well, that's it for me today. Don't forget, you guys, next summer is Kineticon. So don't forget to go. While you're still watching this video, don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Go back and check out my other videos and all that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.